guys welcome back to another video today we're at pier 17 for the new york concourse um event supposedly there's 30 cars here that we haven't that haven't um supposedly there's 30 cars here that haven't been outside to the public or supposedly something like that and we're supposed to see them today I don't know what cars they are, I don't know what to expect, so I think this is the first time they do this event in New York City and they're gonna do it on that rooftop that you see over there. A concourse event is a show, a car show where they judge which car based on the criteria that they have is the best one at the show. At least that's from my understanding from what I read on their website, so that's what they're gonna do. I just want to go in and see the cars. I already saw the um, the Ford Bronco and the Lincoln Continental over there. So let's just go in and have a look. Formula 3, I don't know, but wow, I definitely didn't expect to see these cars. There's a couple more, but these are the, the cars that you see as soon as you come in, and it is insane. Avon Slicks, that last name I know it from somewhere, Filipaldi, Goodyear, wow, Emerson, Filipaldi, Brazilian, wow. Crazy. So three six five. If this is a real Cobra, this is the first time I'm seeing a Cobra. First time I've ever seen that and let alone a uh, vintage Formula One car, but I mean, wow, now I'm literally like speechless. Speechless, I can't even talk. I see, I don't want to spoil it, but these are legit, legit cars. Mercedes, classic Mercedes, 427 Cobra, a 365 Daytona, Mustang, I mean, everything. We're, we're gonna go around, but this cold, I mean, look at how simple it is. Literally, an AC body with a V8 in front of it. That's about it. And it has. I'm not sure how many miles it has, but that's just insane. Oh my god. A 300 SO. A Mercedes Benz 300 SL Gold Wing. Wow. And in that dark blue, look at like a European Fender Mirror. That car is beautiful. Beautiful. Blue with like a leather red interior. Yeah, it is blue. It's like a very, very dark, deep blue. Man, you, I mean, look at that. This is the one that the doors open. See, like the blue. The doors open like this up. That's what the SLS. When they remade it, they made it in 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 homage to this. It's like wow. Thank you very much for bringing the car. We were talking about this then. Turn your name is in a blazing from the side of this car from the car of the grand. So you want to the car of the grand? So the Mercedes Benz 200 SL, the Roadster, and Gold. The 570 is extremely rare with only 253 built. 
Mitch Fabian is in the USA by none other than Elvis Presley. Okay, so this was BMW's answer to that car. BMW, this car came out first and then this one came out after us. You got the caption? No. Okay, so it said that it was made famous in the USA by none other than Elvis Presley, meaning he had one of these. I think that one looked cool though. The gold wing, right? The gold wing? Yeah, I like the gold wing. I don't know, it's got a safe style to it. I don't like the, 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 like the, the rims that much, but... I can't think of any other rims. Those are center locks, they knocked that off. Chevy 350. Those are called center lock wheels, so they only have one bolt in the middle, and it holds the wheel there. They take it off. That's like a racing technology. And then the bumpers, I'm pretty sure that would be from bumper things for US Rex. They did that. It would be better. It would be better. We did it had had um, to our white wall tires on it. Do you have this for your yacht? I think it would look better quite well time. It might look nice, but I don't know if it would look better. It's that car is nice. Angry cool. Is this a split one or no? Yeah, but it's a 427. Wow. Car right there, the Aston Martin. Yeah. That's the one that's uh, is in the 007 movie. The old one the, that he, he used. Yeah, that's he, the uh, one. That's the, the one in GTA that you could buy with all the mods and stuff. That's yeah. what that car is based on. And then this is what you call an E-type. Supposedly, the famous quote was that, or one of the highlights of this car was that Enzo Ferrari said it was like the most beautiful car ever made. Enzo Ferrari obviously having his own company, but he said that about the E-type yeah, when I saw it. Models for chair. A lot of cars have that. Well, happily, this one is not red or yellow. It was yellow. It was yellow. It was a gorgeous so it's Blue Dino, Lucera. Look at this E-type cockpit. I mean, you can literally say it is really tight in there. It's like a hatchback version, though. I mean, you can fit a couple things back there, but it's not the car for that. Wow. <laughs> so that's a really interesting point, actually, with... Five speed, man five speed manual. An emphasis placed these days on originality and cars have to be painted and optioned exactly the way they were when they came out of the factory. Okay, this car I'm about to show you, show you guys, but we're seeing it now. This car, if I remember correctly, I read it on an article on Speed Hunters. This is a car that's based on a Corvette chassis. Well, the owner wanted like something more um, out there basically, the so they built this body custom, and all and custom, years. on top of a Corvette chassis. I mean, it has an LS engine and everything, and it's called the Man Tide. It was a couple years ago, I never thought I would see this car. I knew it was in New York, but I didn't know where it was, and lo and behold, I see it here at this event. <laughs> Talking about this one, it's got a crash box. It doesn't go very fast. It'll go 100 miles per hour. Maybe stop. This is literally the windshield of the car. I mean, just to put it into perspective, this is my hand and is as big as my hand. Not the windshield, the the window. About the car? I mean, I saw it. Look, I told you what. What is it here? Look, 2001 Corvette ZR1 Bertoni Manta. This spectacular Italian design by Coast Builder Bertoni is the only one in existence. Manta began la life as a standard ZR1 with improved aerodynamic and less weight, accelerated faster, and has a top speed of 218 miles an hour. Hey, what do you think? I think it's a bold move. Got other up on I end. think and that it is that definitely want. different, love cars. but not for my so taste. We're see some cars as we go around I don't like, here that are more. I feel like the back is better, but modern. Cars and they have an exposed LS line. Really 
really from, from hood. From that. But look at it right there. Look at a car like if this, you're still doubting this like is a Corvette, LS9 Supercharged. Anyone from any age would appreciate a 34 Aston Martin. All right, for all the JDM fans out there, and all the people that talk about GTRs, my favorite GTR of all of them, the R33. 1995 yeah. Skyline R33. It was Japan's practical supercar answer to Porsche's 911. The Skyline GTR was extreme power with nickname Godzilla because it's might Gave me a fast and the favorites, you know this car. Definitely. So Bill Russell actually, he's responsible for the logo. Wow. Talk logo, about interior goals. Yeah, I mean, right? Isn't that the factory seats. That right, aren't they probably got so, the boot, I mean, the, the shift boot, and everything else real poster, but the, the stock steering wheel, that dash right, looks right, like it's right. has never seen the sun. It's not a crack in here or a smudge uh, anywhere. The story is the gas. If I would have picked a GTR, it would be an R33. I said it before and I'll say it again, especially in this dark red hue. Look at that. Tell me you wouldn't pick that. I'm sorry, but they get me every time. If I had to pick a car to drive out of here right now, it's definitely solid contenders, but this 930 in green, this green, like being all original, I think we'll still take number one. I mean, maybe compared to the SLS, um, well, sorry, not nice, SLS, the 300 SL Gold Wing. They are. But, or maybe like the Formula Everybody 1 cars, but I, nah, I think I'll still take I this. Say, I've never 930. I like this. I like this. No, it's a speedster. So, this well, car came on from after this, then they made the 911. The then they started making 911. Yeah. So then it was this car, a chronological order from cars here. It was this car, then this green one, and then that gray one over there, which is the same speedster, but obviously a different model. These are absolutely phenomenal. These were built for original the detail on the bucket seats. The contract didn't happen, so they sold the idea to billionaires in Saudi Arabia for luxury attack sand dunes. It's a 56. Yeah, you can see on the registration. What else do you need? What did they call it? Thank you. 